Hello everyone, so I found a good article on nerdwallet.com and it will basically show us the best online brokerage accounts for stock trading. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to this list and we will basically see a couple different companies that you can open an account with. Uh, so let's look at Merrill Lynch. Uh, Merrill Edge actually has a transaction cost of $6.95, so that means you would pay $6.95 per trade and you there is a zero dollar account minimum for this account so that's pretty good I always like zero account minimum because you don't need a lot of money to open an account the next one is Alley invest and this one has an even lower commission uh, fee of four dollars and ninety five cents also with an account minimum of zero dollars interesting story is that Alley used to be under Trade King which is a similar platform but recently they changed their platform and I personally don't like to invest with Ally Invest just because their platform is not very uh, detailed. It's not very good for, for research. But, you know, for the, for the commissions, if you already know the, the name, uh, the symbols of the stocks that you want to trade for the commission, you really can't be four ninety five. So great, uh, great, great tool to have Ally. Then you have E-Trade. E-Trade is also another popular one. As you can see, there's a $6.95 transaction fee. And you actually need an account minimum of five hundred dollars. All right. I always, I have also heard really good things about D, DT Amer, Ameritrade um, having an account transaction fee of six dollars ninety five ninety five cents and an account minimum of zero dollars. Okay. And then you have these other companies such as Trade Station, which I'm not too familiar with, and Interactive Brokers. As you can see, there's a there's an account minimum of ten thousand dollars right and one of my favorites is fidelity they have a transaction cost of four four dollars ninety five cents with an account minimum of twenty five hundred dollars this is for the investment account this is for the brokerage account but if you actually were to open up like an ira or a roth ira there's actually a zero account minimum for fidelity and their platform just offers a lot of great tools uh, in terms of research and really low cost index funds as well that you can actually purchase zero commission then you have Charles Schwab Charles Schwab is another popular one uh, you can see here there's an account minimum of a thousand dollars and of each a transaction fee of four dollars and ninety five so that's actually pretty good uh, and have and you see there's a five star rating by nerd wallet uh, in terms of the different types of accounts you if we scroll down lower and I'll get I'll post the link on the description uh, each account has its perks so you see Merrill Lynch is best for research. Ally has really low costs. I'm, I'm assuming that's coming from the $4.95 transaction fee. E-Trade also has uh, its best for investment selection. And you can see that they also offer zero account minimum for any type of IRA account. T DT Ameritrade has a four and a half star rating. Uh, it's good for beginners and investment selection. With a, and then you have Trace. Trade Station, four star rating. Uh, Fidelity has a five star rating. Overall, low cost index funds and great for research. I personally do a lot of my investing research through Fidelity simply because they offer a lot of statistical analysis. They also have um, they also have asset allocation strategies that you can look at. Uh, really helpful platform to have, especially if you have an IRA account with them. And then you have Charles Schwab, also another five star rating. Uh, great for beginners with a really low transaction fee as well. So I hope this was helpful. Um, I personally would recommend I'm sure any of these. I would say probably if you're looking for something to start with, I, I would recommend DT Ameritrade. Uh, Fidelity look, is a great deal. And even Charles Schwab would be, look like a great deal. Um, I would recommend any of those accounts. But again, it's really up to you to do your own research, find out which account works best for you. Um, as long as they have, you know, four and a half or five star ratings, they should be great. And then you can utilize those platforms to do your, your day trading for stocks. Hope this video was helpful. I'll post the link in the description box. And uh, if you like this channel, go ahead and subscribe. And I will be posting more content on investing. Have a great day.